Hey guys, I'm still hearing that there are some people that are still accepting every single offer. It just baffles me of why you would accept every single offer that comes your way. These are four reasons why I will never accept every single offer. Number one being there are a ton of low paying backwards offers that come our way. For example, if you don't know what a backwards offer is, miles are high, like 13 miles pay is low, like $5. Why would you go deliver an order for 13 miles for $5. You're not making any money. You're actually losing money. Number two, some of these offers take us out of our zone. For example, sometimes I get offers that try to take me into Portland. That's like 20 minutes. And if there's traffic or you know, road construction, that can really hold up your time. And then if you can't get an offer to bring you back, that is double your mile. So those offers, you can lose money on those too. Number three, sometimes we receive offers from restaurants that have a history of not having the order ready. Why would you want to accept an offer from a restaurant when you know more than likely they're not going to have the order ready? Unless, unless the pay is high enough just in case there is a wait. Number four, we're driving our own cars. It costs us money to deliver these orders. We're having to put gas in our vehicles. Why would we just accept any offer that comes our way? You're losing money on some of these offers that you accept that are low paying or backwards. It just doesn't make any sense. I hope I didn't leave anything out. Let me know. But those are my four reasons of why I will not accept any offer that comes my way. A lot of them, you're just losing money on them. They don't make any sense. Anyways, I got myself lined up an offer. I turned on Spark Driver, Uber Eats, a Grubhub, and DoorDash, and this is what Spark Driver brought me. $9 for 2.9 miles. It is a one drop off, and it is just a one item. We are going to an apartment, but it looks to be some ink, so we're going to go ahead and pull in. I am here at Walmart right now. Hopefully the order is ready. It is just one item. We're heading over there now. Hi. Hi. Two, three, one, one. I mean, it's just one item. I don't know if you want the bag. Yep, I'll okay. take it. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, guys. Got the order. Didn't take very long for them to bring it out. Just one thing of ink. Customer is... It's trying to figure it out. <laughs> Nine minutes, 2.5 miles. We are on our way. All right, guys, that was an easy drop off, easy order altogether. Love it when everything goes smooth. And that's the other thing. If you're accepting these low paying offers, you're accepting every offer, you're going to miss out on some good, reasonable paying offers. That's why you got to be picky about what you accept. Go for offers that make sense for you. Reasonable offers. Anyways, we're going to get out of this apartment complex and line up our next offer and keep these wheels to moving. All right, guys. It looks like it's going to be one of those nights where the offers are coming in here and there, but they're bad offers. I'm not even hearing from some of the apps. I'm hearing from Uber Eats, haven't heard from DoorDash, haven't heard from Grubhub. I'm hearing from Spark, but most of the orders that I'm getting for Spark are in another city, which is like 20, 30 minutes from here. So that is a no-go, but this is just an example of what I'm declining. And by the way, it is Friday night. Fridays are usually, at least in the evening for me, are usually pretty decent, but it's been nice out. So maybe people are enjoying time time outside barbecuing maybe there's a bunch of drivers out and not enough orders or maybe both uh, but this is what I'm getting four dollars 47 cents 3.8 miles that's an absolute no here's another one ten dollars 53 cents sounds nice but not for 11.4 miles that's a no-go and this one this is a trip radar this is pretty bad three dollars 20 cents for 6.5 miles this is a backwards offer and the restaurant that the pickup's at, the order is usually never ready. You usually have a little bit of a wait, sometimes a long wait. So why would you want to sit there for $3.20 and then have to go drop it off for 6.5 miles after waiting? <laughs> Some of these orders are just ridiculous. So... I held out as I usually do. Of course, I was getting concerned. I'm like, what is going on? Am I just gonna have to, you know, call it quits and go home? 
Well, finally, finally, because I do my loop and whatnot, finally I got an offer from Spark within my area, not at that other further out location. $15, 1.3 miles. We are doing some shopping. It's a bunch of single items. Um, so we're going to try to get through this as quick as possible. We're heading into Walmart. We're here right now. All right, guys, we have made it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap start shopping. There is 27 items. So I'm gonna try to get through these quick as possible. We're gonna head to aisle seven. All right. So the only thing is, is that the aisle numbers are off right now. They must have moved some things around, but I found the chips. So I'm gonna do a few items and then I will check back in with you guys. But uh. Hopefully all the aisles aren't off like this. Um, I'm gonna go check aisle four and hopefully this drink is there. If not, it could be a little bit of a search. So um, luckily the store isn't too big. We're gonna head there and I'll check back in with you guys once I got a few items done. All right, guys, I am now to 15 items, but here's the interesting thing. My first item that I started off with, the aisle number was off. It was actually the aisle over for the chips, but now I'm back in the chip aisle, which I guess I should have paid attention that there was more chips, but now it's on the correct aisle. So very interesting. I talked to an employee too, and he says the chips have been on the same aisle since he's been here for a year. So very interesting, but, um, yeah, we're gonna continue on Doritos barbecue. The rest of the aisles have been on. It was just a couple bags of chips that were an aisle over. So they said they were, but they're not. So the aisle is off one, but um, let's grab them. Their barbecue, which is right here. And all right, they want quite a few chips. See, I wasn't, I looked at the list, but <laughs> obviously wasn't paying attention, but Okay, 14 items left. I'm gonna go ahead and continue with the chips and I'll check back with you guys in a bit. All right, guys, believe it or not, I am down to eight. I'm in the egg section and you know, when you pick up eggs for a customer, you always wanna check the eggs one inside to make sure no eggs are cracked. Let me see. Um, but the other thing is I went to, to pick up a thing of eggs and it's like, I'll show you guys. It's a torn on this side. That is an incident waiting to happen. So always make sure you check it out. Um, hopefully this one down here is a lot better. do it with one hand looks good and the container looks good so way better than that other one um let me go ahead and scan this and i got a cart full of snacks there is a lot of snacks it's almost maybe they got a kid or something <laughs> a lot of snacks okay scan and there we are okay now I am down to seven items, so I will check back in with you guys once I'm down to the end. A few more items to go. All right, guys, believe it or not, we are on the last item. They want the granola bars. Everything's been going smooth for the most part. Um, they like some popular stuff, so a lot of them I've been grabbing the last item. So I see this one up here and a scan. Awesome. Okay, we are gonna head to checkout, and uh, there is some lines. It's busy in here right now, but we're gonna go get her done. All right, guys, we are ready to check out, scan QR, and it always does it super fast. All right, we are good to go. I'm gonna get some bags and bag this up and go get it loaded. All right, guys, we are bagged up, ready to go get this order dropped off. All right, guys, we are loaded up. Took me about 30 minutes to shop for the order and get it bagged up. Um, not horrible. Of course, I wish it was a lot quicker. There was a lot of snacks. I'm thinking somebody has a kid or two. They got a lot of snacks. Um, customers, five minutes, 1.4 miles. They seem to be in a house. The other thing that I got to say that I absolutely love when shopping for the orders for Spark Driver is 
you know, sometimes the aisles can get confusing. I've shopped at the store many times, but I love that they have a map of the store now to show you where the aisle is because there's always a funky aisle, like an end cap or at the back of the corner of the store type of thing. So when you're on the next product and you're having a hard time finding where the aisle is in the store, it's not making sense. If you pull down on the item that you're on, a map of the store will show up and it'll kind of tell you where you're at and where that particular item is. Super helpful. I ran into that like twice. I was like, yay, I love it when you have kind of a map to help you get there without having to go look for an associate because sometimes you can't find an associate. Anyways, let's go get this customer their, their bags full of snacks. I did double bag pretty much all of the bags. I don't want no incident happening, a bag busting on me. Um, um, just to be on the safe side, so we're heading there now. Right, guys the multiple bags of snacks are dropped off I pull up of course you know where the GPS is telling me where the address is and again if you're new you always want to verify with your eyes that you're at the right location GPS can sometimes be off or really off so you always want to make sure you're at the right location so the house was dark so of course that's why you need a high-powered flashlight or a just a flashlight um, to verify so I had to verify that I was at the right location which I was uh, but yeah no lights on so I'm having to walk up and I just kind of turned my flashlight on and, and got up to the walkway but if you're looking for a high powered mini flashlight this flashlight is amazing I always keep it on this wristlet as many of you guys know as well as my pepper spray because you do need some sort of protection um, links down below in the description if you're looking for either of these must have have it on your wrist quick easy access because you know your protection won't do you any good in a pocket where you're having to dig around if you need it anyways got the abs turned back on that it's Friday like I'd mentioned I think it's going to be one of those nights Uber Eats is coming in with a trip radar ah $12.09 sounds nice but not for 9.5 miles it's saying it's going to take me into Portland that is a no-go um yeah it's just one of those nights like I said it's nicer out people are, might be barbecuing there might be more drivers a lot of people like to drive like during the weekends and the evenings because those tend to be the better times but sometimes if you know there's limited offers and everybody's out then you're not going to get very here comes uber eats again three dollars at three cents for 1.7 miles these are those offers you're just not going to make any money it's at subway they're usually pretty good but not for three dollars and three cents you know what if they still have to make the sandwich what if you have trouble dropping or finding the customer's location regardless it's not worth three dollars and three cents that's an absolute no so you know if i can get something else i'll get something else but i think it's going to be one of those nights sometimes you just got to know when to call it yeah, it's, you just take what you can get. So I'm going to leave you guys right here. Always so much appreciate you guys riding along. And of course, if you did enjoy the ride along and the shopping trip, do give the video a like. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I'll be seeing you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.